This segment of Renegade TV is brought to you by Rula Salon and Spa, voted one of the top salon and spas by Baltimore Magazine. Let Rula Salon and Spa create a glamorous new you. 9660 Bel Air Road, Perry Hall. I bet you've never seen a bike built in 1969 that looked this good. And I have the owner and the builder of this bike with me, Ron Finch. Ron, how are you? Real good. Theoretically, I'm not the owner, uh, but the owner that had it built uh, back in 69, came in and said, uh, money's no object. And I looked at him, huh, I don't know about this guy. And so I started working on it, no problem. He left me a deposit. And uh, about two weeks later, I found out that his father invented the strapless bra. And uh, he also owned a carrot and some condos and stuff. And the money was, yeah. was no object. Uh, and so it was a thing where at the time, I was just kind of getting started in business and didn't have a lot of money, naturally. Mm -hmm. And so I started making all these little axes. They're, they're everywhere. There's hundreds of them on the bike. And I was charging $7.50 a piece, and I could do it in about 40 minutes. Wow. And uh, back in 69, that was, that was good, good money. money. And uh, I've always liked to do things isometrically, you know. Mm -hmm. And I came up with a, the front end idea which most some people say won't work, but it will. As long as you got point A, point B, and C, everything's in line, it will. And uh, the name of the bike is Odin's Axle. Odin was, was a god of war. That's the reason for all the, the little axes, the battle axes, whatever you want to call them. So you've had a lot of history with this bike. Yeah. Uh, a lot of time invested. It looks great. It looks Thank great. Thank you. And like I say, it was, it, was, it was nice to bring it back. When they first brought it to me, it was, it was so sad to see it in the condition that it was in. Right. But now that it's, you know, been redone, I'm glad, I'm really glad that I did. Well, I got to tell you, Ron, this is the first time I've seen it up close and personal. It's absolutely beautiful. You could spend hours looking at this bike. There's so many little pieces of detail from front to back. You got to come out and see it. It's beautiful. Um, now, Ron, if you would, would you tell me about the biker build-off? Sure. Well, first of all, it's called Double Cross. Mm -hmm. And the reason it's called Double Cross is the exhaust pipes cross, the frame crosses, the handlebars cross, and so on. And you know, in life, there's a few double crossers you may have sure. ran into one or two yes. in your own life. Absolutely, I have. You know? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's a fact of life. <laughs> well, this one's never double crossed me, ever. Okay. You know? Great, Good. glad to hear it. And uh, so, where I started was my concept. A lot of times I'll wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and I'll think about stuff. Mm -hmm. And what I was thinking about was a floating neck. Um, as you can see here, it's kind of suspended between the frame. Oh, yes, very cool. And so by, be, by being able to do that, it gives you a, a, a much nicer flow from the front of the bike or the front of the frame all the way through to where when they were machining this, I had a guy machine it for me. Um, he could have went further, but I liked, liked the grooves, just to let everybody know it was just a machine piece. Mm -hmm. And then uh, got the PL lights, which are really, really bright and stuff. People say, oh, they're so little that they can't work, but they do. They, they're oh, great. Yes. Um, and then the, the front fender there, which isn't much of a fender, it's enough to break the mist. If you rode a bike without a fender, you know how they just got that, that ribbon there. Well, this is enough to disperse the water. You still get wet, but I've been wet before. I didn't melt, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a 113 cubic inch S&S motor, Weber carbs. Um, what's kind of different is this belt drive. They just came out with this when I was building. It's three and a half inches longer than a, than a stock. Mm -hmm. belt which gives you a stretch in there which is kind of kind of cool but you can still keep a short short belt the oil tank it's a cat's fender <laughs> the oil tank's encased in the in, in the center here of the fender it goes all the way to the other side it's three quarts uh the fuel is uh one and seven point seven i can go about six to eight miles at the time when I built it, it wasn't too bad because I smoked cigarettes and I didn't care if I had a 50 gallon tank, I was stopping to smoke a cigarette, sure. you know. <laughs> well, I quit, but anyways, uh, there's no changing it now because that's the way it was built. 
Yeah, and I, um, I, um, I have to assume that most people, the first thing they ask is, where's the gas tank? Right, they, they look do. look up front, and they're going to see right at the top of the engine. They want to know where the gas tank right. is. Right, and sometimes, sometimes I tell them. <laughs> uh, I usually will in time, but I let them think about it for yeah. a while. And sometimes I'll point at the cap, let them figure it out. Mm -hmm. And then if I'm in a smart ass mood that day, I might just say, oh, well, it's solar powered. Yeah. You know, you I mean, it doesn't need no gas tank. You know, this is a new thing. It's the first one out. Right. The solar. Right. And you, you can get them down there at Kmart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Give them a nice story, give them a line, string them along right. right away. Try to find a gas tank. Right. <laughs> uh, who, who made your seat? Uh, Leatherman. He's out Leather he's in Flint. Yep. What is, if you notice, the, the shape of the frame down in here mm -hmm. is the same as the seat. Oh, yes. Uh, so, Very so that, so that follows, follows through. It's fairly soft. Well, Ron, thank you very much. I certainly do appreciate it. You've got some great stuff here. Keep doing what you do. And you can check out Ron's stuff at finchescustoms.com. Thanks again. We'll see you soon. And I thank you. You're welcome. And uh, take care. Ride hard. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Ron. With constant changes in both federal and state laws, businesses find it difficult to remain in compliance with government regulations. Non-compliance can be subject to government audits, fines, and or employee lawsuits. HR Results is a Baltimore-based consulting firm that can help you manage your day-to-day -day HR needs related to benefits, compensation, compliance, employee relations, health safety, recruitment, and or training. Contact us now at 410-335-6800 or visit our website at hresultsinc.com. I'm Shane. I'm not going to get a chance, but you're watching Renegade TV. Come on, Shane. Let's go. Watch Renegade TV on Fox 45. Rula Salon & Spa is noted one of the top 30 salons and spas by Baltimore Magazine. Rula's offers an array of services from the latest hairstyles, color trends to nail services, soothing massage and skin care, rejuvenating body treatments, makeup, and much more. Pamper yourself or the one you love with a day of beauty. Gift certificates and packages are available in any denomination. Our friendly and fully experienced staff is looking forward to seeing you. Come by and let our expert colorist design a glamorous new you. Escape. Indulge. Live.